Okay. Okay, we can start now, right? You've not accepted me. I did. Uh oh, sorry. <laughs> but I did. I accepted you now, right? Yes, thanks. Nice. Okay, thank you very much. Awesome. Okay, so um, right now we are starting. Welcome everyone to tonight's class. Um, we will start with the flashcard first. And for this, uh, we will be looking at the questions and then we flip to see the answers, okay? Um, so yes, what document was a client give you prior to completing an application for an individual variable insurance contract? What document? Okay. Uh, second, you can mute yourself if... Okay, do we have an idea? Okay, so do we even know what, you know, an uh, individual variable insurance contract is? Individual yes, variable. Yes, that, that's um, an, the legal name for segregated funds. Is it a legal, is it a legal no. name or a document that you receive? <laughs> like life insurance, you get... um a policy, right? Mm -hmm. But for segregated okay. funds, you get individual variable insurance contract. That's what contract. you get. That stipulates okay. all the details about what the expectation, what is binding between you and the insurance company. Okay? So now yeah. the question is, what document must a client be given prior to completing an application for an individual variable insurance contract? I'm thinking. So, so the right. question here, the question mm -hmm. here is uh, if a client is uh, getting a segregated fund, fund yes. uh, we're gonna we're gonna give the client variable insurance contracts, which is um, you know stipulates uh, what should be done, everything like the summary of the contract. So they're asking which document would the person be given before getting this? Exactly. So I'm thinking the person should at least have the knowledge of the funds, right? I would think fund facts, in my own opinion, to know the performances of the funds before you even complete an application for segregated funds, right? Yeah. Mm. The because fund facts, the, the, fund the, facts, performance, the performance of the funds. Yeah, exactly. Because so the, the fund facts will tell you the characteristics of the the what the type of fund it is, is it a exactly. fund or so fund, yeah. Okay. Information, oh information for that. <laughs> yeah, is that's the summary, right? All of the essential, yeah, information. Yeah, for an information purchasing decision, plus it must be given to the client before completing an application to decide to wow, information folder. Okay. Okay, so yeah, right, but it's so just a different fast. So yeah. it's like look at it this way. I have a folder, right? You know, I've shown you guys phone fast before, remember? Or any if or if you guys watch the I think the part two of the segregated phone text video, you're going to see the detail. Information folder, look at the information folder as this is a folder that they printed the font fat and put inside the folder. Just understand it like that. Okay, guys? Okay, mm -hmm. we, we need to move very fast. Um, if your client decides to invest 50,000 today in an investment that pays 4% annually, how much will this investment be worth at the end of the fifth year? So this one, you are talking about future value here. Future value, yeah. You know, so and I is, break this thing down. Just yeah. Of, I think I what, remember what the formula. Yeah, yeah it's, there you go. Oh yeah, solve it, solve it, solve it, solve it. Solve it, solve it. <laughs> okay, I don't have pen up. Okay, let me give you now. It's a, a future value, is present value, mm -hmm. multiplied by, in brackets, one minus mm -hmm. that is very key. Of the interest rate, yes. Mm -hmm. The interest one rate, minus. 
the interest rate, if, if it's 3% or whatever. Okay, mm -hmm. so the interest rate is what? Okay, 4%, so that's... Um, okay, so give me the number. So right now, you are looking for future value, right? Yeah. So your future value now is equal to your 50,000. Mm -hmm. Your 50,000 in bracket 1 minus 0 0.04, close brackets, mm -hmm. and N raised to power N. That's the number of okay. years you are looking at, too. What's the number of years here? 50 years, five. Okay, so let's power five. five. Okay. Yeah, so, so, so now, like I use my phone. Initially, I don't know how to use, I didn't know about this function until one of our students here showed me. Um, okay, is it this one I, I use that? Or is it on my iPad? Jewel, can you help me with my iPad? Oh, okay. Is it this one? Okay, yes. Okay, I use my phone like this then when I turn it like this, right? So I have 50,000 in bracket 1 minus 0 0.04 raised to power 5. So 1 minus 0 0.04 is what you have, guys. 1 minus... 0 0.04. That is 0 0.96, right? Yes. Raised to power five. And then when I turn my this thing like this, I'm able to see um, X raised to power Y, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess 0 0.96.96 96, X raised to power Y and then five. So it gives me 0 0.815, approximately four. So I have 50,000 because it's in bracket multiplied by 0 0.8154. So all these things I'm doing, you guys should be doing this. So I'm not the one writing the exam. <laughs> 50,000. Times point eight one. This boy, because please go leave me alone. Eight one five four. So we get ah uh, uh. Hey, sister Kenny, I should give us the right formula. Why are we having forty thousand seven seven zero? That's the formula. Let me. If you, if your client invests future value, yeah, future value is multiplication. It's multiplication. Mm -hmm. It's present present mm -hmm. value is, is division. No, because the future value should be more than the present value, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Ah. Let, let me let me calculate it. I'll be my calculation. No enter well. No. Yeah, because the answer is supposed to be sixty thousand, but they are calculated uh -huh. year by year, but in year five. It, it doesn't even have to be year by year because 50,000 per... Oh, it's one plus. Sister Kenny, now huh? you put us enter yeah, one coming. chance. It's one plus, it's best rate. It's not one minus. Oh, she trying, at least she remember. Hey! <laughs> eh? Sorry. Yeah, one plus. You see, it's, it, it's one plus. Okay. Yeah, that is where we missed it. Yeah. So future value is plus. Okay. Okay. I think you guys you see mathematics. We don't read maths. We work it. So even though you know it, do it. Yeah. Now you see it will stick. It will stick better. 
Yes, so. Experience. Hello, yes, class. We did class, so. Okay, you call me back. I beg, one, I won't find out one person. Yeah, go ahead now. No, no, yawa. Okay, okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so are we good to go? Yes. Can we move forward now, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Okay, what is a third phone? <laughs> what is cell phone? Second, is a fund is a type of fund that is uh, mm -hmm. produced by insurance companies. It, it pulls fund, um, yeah, mm -hmm. that segregated, right? It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's separated to for investment purposes. Mm -hmm. So, and then, it comprises various funds, it. right? Various funds. Uh, well, yeah. not uh, not exactly various funds. It uh, is that correct? If you say it comprises various funds, that would mean that um, the fund is investing in other Anyways. funds, which is for, which is funds for funds. Yeah, you can have funds. Yeah, you can have funds, funds of funds too. Of yeah. Funds, yeah. So you see now, segregated fund is a pool of funds held by insurance company. You see, you guys are correct. Everything that you guys said is correct, okay? It's a pool of funds, all right? How come is it a pool of You say these funds are separated, that is segregated from other assets of the insurance company. And the correct legal name for segregated fund is an individual variable insurance contract. Um, do you guys understand that? Yep. Yes. The legal name for SEC fund is individual variable insurance contract. You see why this class is very important. You see, like me, this life class eh, is more ginger than listening to me or watching the video. You understand? Oh. What are the six advantages of segregated funds? Oh, yeah, we know this one. Who, ah. Oh, yeah, investment options more investment options, right? Hmm. I want you guys to be shooting. Shoot, 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 shoot. He bypassed probate. Creditor protection. Now, don't forget. Haba. Something like that. <laughs> hey, something like that. Creditor protection. Uh -huh. uh, it, um... Only six, they say make we name, no be 10. Do we have questions like that that you have to name? No, no they, you, they'll, they'll, give, they'll give you a correct answer and put wrong one inside it, mm -hmm. or give you wrong answer and put one correct one. But okay. if you know all these options, even anyhow they ask it, you get it, you understand? Okay. Anyway, if you guys are not ready. Maturity and death benefit guarantee. Sorry, another benefit is a uh, yeah, yeah, guarantee. The maturity and death benefit guarantee. Exactly. <laughs> then reset features. You guys remember reset of features, right? Mm -hmm. Then I've talked about credit of protection and then right to designate beneficiary and bypass probate. Yeah. Tax benefit when capital loss are incurred. Yeah. Investor protection by Azure. Okay. All good. From the following list, determine the risk level of the funds from lowest to highest. Hmm. Balance funds, bond fund, dividend fund, <laughs> precious metal funds. So which one is the bond. lowest risk? Bond, bond yes. Bond, uh -huh. next. Balance, balance funds. Okay, balance, uh-huh. Uh, dividend, I don't know where that precious metal belongs. In, Me too, neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, I know dividend is, uh, dividend and equity. It's yeah. Dividend then equity. Okay, so, bond, yeah. balance, dividend, precious metal. Okay, oh, we got it. Okay. Maybe it's equity <laughs> that is precious metal. Okay, what ownership right does the policy holder of an individual variable insurance contract have? regarding the assets owned by the segregated fund 
okay. of an insurance company, what ownership right does the policy holder? Okay, so it means anywhere we see individual variable insurance contract have uh, regarding, cool. yeah, it's safe. Yeah. So what kind of ownership rights are they talking about? Rights of what? Should be right to designate beneficiary now, Abby. I don't, I don't, I can't really, okay. this is their question, be as you get. The policy, uh, policy of an individual insurance contract or a contract with the insurer. So how has, how is that a right? Okay, they say none, there's no right. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's move on. Another calculation, okay. Elisa invested 75,000 in an individual variable insurance contract that has 75% maturity guarantee and debt benefit guarantee. So 75, 75. Six years into the contract, Elisa exercised reset option when the value of the contract was 84,000. Elisa died in the 11th year of the contract the fund value was 98,000 at the time of her death. How much will her beneficiary receive from this country? 98,000, right? Very straightforward. 98,000. Of course, of course. That's the market mm -hmm. value. You know, sometimes they will put all these questions to deceive you, to derail yeah. you, and to confuse you. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Assuming, assuming the value is less than the 84,000, then we'll now start talking about the 75% of the 84,000. Make sense? Yeah, you guys understand? Let's say that. Gonna, uh, in that case, it's still going to take the highest, right? <laughs> the, uh, the market value of that thing and the uh, 75%. No, no, let's say, let's say they say that. Elisa died in the 11th year of the contract and the fund value was uh, 78,000 at the time of her death. Okay. How much will she collect? Let's say, oh yes, let's say the value of the fund was 78,000 at the time of her death. You guys tell me now, how much will Elisa, will Elisa collect? That's 75% of uh, 84, right? Yes, she will collect 75% of the guarantee because she has reset the guarantee. Now it's 84,000, okay? Okay, okay. Make sense? Okay, so she's not gonna collect 84. No, she won't collect 84, she will collect 75% of 84,000. Okay. All right, but what if Elisa did not die, okay? But her reset period will now commence from the, the time, the maturity time of 10 years will start counting from where she reset the option. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's move on. I don't want to confuse you guys. Okay, what is the difference between a linear reduction method and a proportional reduction method in an individual variable insurance contract? So an amatsu. Does anybody have an idea? Reduces the principal value by the dollar amount withdrawn. The proportional reduction method reduces proportionally from the principal and the growth in the account. Interesting. Okay, I can't recollect seeing this one. What is a deferred annuity? Uh, uh, this one, uh, na, na, it's a sweet question now, right, guys? Yes, now it means the annuity is deferred. You're not going to get start paying from, you know, now. You just specify when you yeah. want to start collecting exactly. the money. Exactly. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly. A deferred annuity is a contract that is purchased generally with a lump sum amount of money, providing guaranteed sum of money at a specified time in the future. You got it, girl. What is the correct name for an individual who is receiving an income from an annuity? Yes. Abba. Abba, your boy there knows that one. Annuity. Ah! Annuity. <laughs> <laughs> <Every day days. laughs> I like that. Ah, see, they, this question vexed me. They be like, ah, what do they ah, take? Ah, oh, what an insult. <laughs> and then it's better make the, the question day cheaper so that we we'll just finish it in 20 minutes and walk out. All right. Uh, what is the correct name for an individual? Oh, I forgot to call Mabel. Sorry, guys. Let me quickly give her a call. Oh, sorry. Let me call her. No problem. Uh, okay, Bide, me go ahead and read now. Go ahead and read for us. Okay, the next question then. We've we've treated this one. The current name for you. Oh. What is it? We um, are in class. So we've we've treated this one. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. No one. Okay, sorry. Go ahead, Bidemi. We've done this one. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, sorry. Okay. Can annuities be purchased as a registered product? Ah. Registered products. I don't know. I think so. Yeah, because I think yeah. yeah, yeah. You can it you can like... transfer your RRS. To, yeah, yeah. I see. Oh yes, annuity can be registered or non-registered. Okay, all income okay. from registered annuity is taxable. All right. Okay, mm -hmm. moving on. Oh, let's when see. Let's, please, let's read it. Let's read the thing, please. Oh, I'm not able to go back. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. I can't okay. go back. Okay. Why does I need to provide this okay. immediately now? The first payment of immediate annuity is provided at the next payment date mm. after the annuity is purchased. Mm. Yeah, do you guys want to read this one before I move? I think annuity period is... Yeah, yeah. I think the period is... Okay, moving on. Yeah. What type of organizations can issue annuity contract? Insurance, Insurance company, of company. course. Mm -hmm. An insurance company, yeah. Are uh, deferred annuities protected under the Canada Deposit Insurance Cooperation? You should, right? I don't know. Okay. I think so too. Sure. No. Ah. <laughs> deferred annuities are protected under Azuri. Oh. Yeah, yeah, not, yeah, not Canada deposit. deposit. You know, it's an insurance. Uh, this thing, mm -hmm. you know, understand? Mm -hmm. It's not. Uh, this is a good knowledge to have. Uh, mm -hmm. Andrew wants to buy an individual variable insurance contract. What type of license must his advisor hold to sell an EFI? Ah, uh, life now, Abby. Life insurance. Uh -huh. Life insurance. Yeah. License. Mm -hmm. Now, wait till we all day here, they look to get. <laughs> Chester yeah, sure. purchased an individual variable insurance contract on December 18th, 2007. You said when you start seeing questions with dates and timelines like this, carry your pen, follow body. Okay. So, December 18, 2017, he purchased a SEC fund, which is EFIC in the amount of 250,000. This policy has a 10 year maturity guarantee and a 100% debt benefit guarantee. Shiza's wife, Sophie, was the beneficiary under the contract. This policy has a reset option that may be exercised once per year. 
She said, exercised this research option in January of 2009 when the value of the EFI contract was 304,000. How much was the original? How much did she purchase? 250, right? Mm -hmm. So 250. Um, okay, hold on. You see, like you need to follow the timeline, right? December. 2007, he mm. bought it at 250,000, right? Yeah. So now, January 8, 2009, 2009, he exercised the right at a value of 304,000, right? You see, this mm. kind of uh, 304,000, this kind of calculations are the ones you can get it 100% easily. So you just need to know what they are asking you. Mm -hmm. So the value of the contract when Chesa died in February, you see the timeline, okay. make sure you write the dates down. Died oh. was on That's February. After, 20, after 10 years, that was reset, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so on February 18, 2019, yes. 2019, the value was 189,000. Oh boy, you see him? Um, okay. That's ridiculous. Eh? Okay. And yeah. remember, they told you mm -hmm. go back. 100%. He has 100% maturity. He mm -hmm. said maturity guarantee and 100 Okay, wait. He has this policy yeah. had a 10 year maturity guarantee and 100% debt benefit, okay? So now they are going to ask you, in 2019, this value was 189,000. What is the amount of money that Sophie will receive? 304 now. 304,000, yes. Yeah. Done, there you go. Okay? All those story, story, story. If you don't know what you are just doing. Just to confuse. You, you just to confuse. Okay, so they are just explaining the answer here. So let's move on. What is the minimum debt benefit and maturity guarantee that must be included in all SEC fund contract? Yeah, I I emphasize this emphasize in the video. I was the, not there. I've not looked at the video, but I think it's 75. It's 75, yes. Exactly. I have not looked at it. Okay. <laughs> it's 75, yes. The baseline is 75. I even went to IA. I even brought forms <laughs> to use in explaining that part. Okay, what is the purpose of a variable insurance contract information folder? What is the purpose? It's to, um, it, I think it's the contract, right? What it entails. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the SEC fund, what it entails and the Yeah, about the contract. funds, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It tells you about the funds, the holdings of the funds, the underlying uh, uh, investments, you understand, behind the funds, and then the fund managers, the MER, all those, da, 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 da. Okay, let's So see. general information about the funds, the information for that briefly. Clearly discloses all material facts relating to the segregated funds, okay? Okay. In summary. Okay. Why is diversification important to an investor in segregated funds? To reduce risk, right? Balance. To reduce, yeah, to balance I risk. So. Balance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know it's about risk. Mm -hmm. On the same degree, to reduce the risk. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. What are the three unique advantages of an individual view? insurance contract. In other words, they are asking you know, what are the unique advantages of segregated fund. Yeah. It's what we have mentioned mm -hmm. before. When you see if it, yeah, just just in your head, just know they are talking about self fund. It bypass problems. Okay. It gives a creditor protection. It provides guarantee. Mm. You understand? It provides diversification. Even the one we just talked now, where it reduced risk, you understand? Mm -hmm. All those are advantages, right? See now, the name of preferred beneficiary allow it to 
to be creditor protection. Uh, yeah, bypass probate and then individual variable insurance. Hold on, no, must please, 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 please. Maturity and debt benefit guarantee. Oh, sorry. Hold <laughs> on, please. Let me read it. Right. Okay. Okay. What is the major difference between the benefits of an individual variable insurance? Oh, this is the one we just did now. Okay. What is the difference between a term setting annuity and a life annuity? We didn't do that it's one. Just like somebody on. asked. No, that was the answer of that one now. Oh yeah. Okay. That was the answer of the advantages of the seg fund. Okay. Remember? okay yeah. So this one they are simply is like somebody asking oh, yeah. you what is the advantage of uh, all the different term insurance and the uh, 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 yeah, permanent yeah. You know life. Yeah, like, yes. Life, yeah. Life is for yeah. life. Well, time life. is for a specific period of time. Yeah. That's a. Mm -hmm. That's a. That's a. A life annuity makes payment for lifetime, right? And mm -hmm. then a term setting is for a specified period of time. Okay, what factors determine annuity payments? Mm -hmm. I, I, we should know this now. What factor? Is it the rate. deferred and immediate? No, the rate, the rate, then the amount the person is putting down. You understand? Those are the factors that... Oh. You see, you see, annuity is like you are because the money you get, you anytime you see payment in annuity is income to you, is income. Do we understand? Yes. And when they say annuity payment, means like what is coming to you as an investor. So if if I'm putting hundred thousand. What are the things that will determine the amount that I get out of that investment? Interest rate is one. Number two yeah. is a uh, uh, number of years, a period, mm -hmm. you know, and then even the actual amount I put it because garbage in, garbage out. Now, if I bring five thousand, will I expect uh, ten thousand every month? You understand? Insurance company, they are not for that Christmas. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You see, the factors that affect annuity payments are the but annuity thought, rate. Uh, the age of the annuitant. Mm -hmm. the, the age of the annuitant, yes. The annuitant gender. gender. Yeah. Because, mm -hmm. because you know why gender counts is that women, it shows that women live longer than men. And because women live longer, they receive lesser payment because they had to stretch their money especially mm -hmm. if it's a life annuity, you understand. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Then the amount to deposit mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, but I used to think Makes that sense. annuity, annuity- Hold on, no. hold on, please. Mm, let me write this thing. Just screenshot it or take a picture with your phone. You don't need to be- How do okay. you screenshot it? So that at the end of the, or, and besides, I'm going to send them. I, <laughs> oh yes, I, and I I will I will update the video too. I'll send out the video to Please, how do you so that you guys can rewatch it again. Um, it depends on your device. For instance, me I'm using a Windows. I have a snipping tool here. I can click on it. Okay, I'm using my phone. I okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, you uh, all right? Uh -huh. You have a question. Ask a question. Yes, I said I used to think that annuity is a kind of um, investment. Like, for example, you have hundred thousand now, and then in the future, sometime in the future, you want to be paid like five thousand dollars every month. Okay, and um, for a mm -hmm. amount of period. Mm -hmm. That is time. that is deferred annuity. Yeah, you can do it for a specific period of time or for life. It depends on how much you put in and the rate and your age. Okay. Okay. Okay, so it's not like an investment that you get an interest on. You invest your capital and you get your 
interest, like you know, the returns, and then you can maybe sell it or the whatever when you, when you want to get for annuity. For annuity, the purpose of giving that money is for future payments, right? That's my understanding. That that has been my under the the my understanding of annuity and the um, segregated fund. How they differ. You know, when you invest, you are not you are investing with your capital with the hope Sorry, to get. I'm trying to. So I'm changing my internet connection. Okay, go ahead, please. Yeah, I was Go ahead. Yeah, I was saying that what's the difference between segregated fund and annuity? Oh. My understanding is that annuity is the kind of payout that like you are you are investing for the purpose of you know receiving, receiving steady income. income. Yes, mm -hmm. of receiving steady income at a you know at a particular time. So, but you mm -hmm. know. It's a related fund is the kind of investment that is not you are investing your capital with the intention of getting a kind of return or growth know, on it or growth on it so is that yeah and, right? and that and yes and that the thing is that the growth on segregated funds is not capped on any rate so it's yeah. going to be based on what the market performance is and then you get the growth on that but a self fund is a based on a rate because when I bring hundred thousand to Industrial Alliance today, Industrial Alliance are going to quote me, okay, for this hundred thousand, we're going to give you five percent on it, and then they will do the calculation and run illustrations for me that okay, if I want immediate annuity based on this, this is how much I'll be getting every month for X number of years. And if I want it to be receiving that money steadily every month for life, then they'll run out illustrations and show me how much I'll be able to be getting for life. But everything will be locked in at that time that I'm signing up at that rate. Okay. So there's no reset option with annuity. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, again, compared to segregated funds, today my fund, this year my fund can do yet today 20% or 40% like we saw last year. But you don't have that in a annuity. It's what you have, you have locked in from the beginning is what you are stuck to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, what is the joint and life survival life annuity? Guys, you, you guys got this one, right? Anyone yeah, who feel I... you get it, let's move on so that we can go through this thing fast and enter real questions and answer. Right? You guys got this, right? Joint last to die. Uh, joint first to die is that... Okay. A joint and last survival life annuity is a life annuity that provides a guarantee income during the course of two people's lives, okay? On the death of one of the annuitants, the entire income is paid to the survivor for the remainder of his or her life. Then you can also proceed a joint uh, last to die annuity that will reduce the amount paid to the first day benefit, okay? What is term annuity? Uh, uh, uh. These people, they don't come again. We know this one now, right? Mm -hmm. Moving on. What is the difference between the annuitant and the beneficiary on that segregated fund contract? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you if you guys want me to explain it, say it. Let's move on. What is the difference between the annuitant and the beneficiary on that segregated yeah, fund? Yeah, like the explanation you just made. Annuitant is like, you know, the annuity and is locked in, right? No, it's not guaranteed. No, no, nope. no. We are not asking for. We are not. Yes, we are not asking for the fee 